had to overcome some pretty significant challenges. So when filming The Lord of the Rings, they filmed this time of year, which is pretty notorious for wildlife. And although we do have a rainy day kind of keeping it down, there's a lot of bird song in the air, and there are a lot of frogs in that pond right there. They created it for the filming of Lord of the Rings, and they did too good a job at it. Local frog population moved on in, and they are being suspiciously quiet today. But it, depending on what day you're here, it can be very, very loud here in the Delt. I've had it so loud that I kind of have to shout over the backdrop of noise here. And back in 19, or the early 2000s when they were filming Lord of the Rings, that was kind of a problem. It was too much ambient noise for them to get the shots that they wanted. They didn't have the same audio editing technology that we had today. So in an order to get their shots here, they had to quiet it down. They had to quiet down the frogs in the pond and the birds in the trees. And so they had a twofold approach to that. First, they sent some probably poor film undergrad student into the pond to remove all of the frogs and relocate them to another lake nearby. And I can't imagine if you take a job to work on the Lord of the Rings movie set that you expect Frog Wrangler to be part of your job description, but life is full of surprises. <clears throat> Once they dealt with the frogs, the next problem was the birds. They had a pretty ingenious solution to this. They actually hired a well-trained bird of prey, a raptor, to fly up and fly circles above Hobbiton all day long. And what this did is it frightened the smaller bird species into quieting down. They didn't want to sing out and risk attracting that predator's attention down upon themselves for fear of being hunted. So after doing both those things, they quieted the birds in the sky and the frogs in the ponds to get their shots here. 